Here we go. Learning how to draw. Draw box day 26. Welcome. This first time here. My name's Ray, also known as Two Gimps. Here's a little about me. I've always wanted to learn to draw. As far back as I can remember, I've always wanted to learn. But back when I was 15, I was hit by a driver who was drunk and high, and I ended up disabled. I've lived in non-stop constant severe pain, and I've been unable to leave the house for the past 20 years. My current diagnosis is failed back syndrome, meaning my spine will continue to deteriorate until the day I end up in a wheelchair. Needless to say, learning to draw pretty much fell to the wayside. So this is me trying to learn something I've wanted to learn for my entire life. But more so, I hope not only learn to draw, but to be able to draw something I've wanted to draw for the past 11 years, which is one of my best friends in this world, my dog Nico. My mother bought me Nico five days before she passed away. He is literally the last thing she ever did for me. So that's what I'm going to be doing here, learning to draw and document the entire process. So whether you already know how to draw or you want to learn, I hope you'll consider joining me on this journey. With that, if you want to know more, I'll leave the link down in the description down below. With that, you're going to get going. Got a lot to do today. Um... Uh, before I move on, though, I do want to share this for those that might be interested. The course I am currently working on is called Draw a Box. All right, you can check the link in the description or head to drawabox.com. So if you always want to learn to draw, uh, maybe you're just curious, you want to dabble, or you want to follow along the videos up, whatever the reason, link in the description or drawabox.com. It's pretty dope. You can go there and learn some of the drawing fundamentals completely for free, which is awesome because most places don't teach drawing fundamentals anymore, and the ones that do are ridiculously expensive. Uh, so it's pretty cool. You can go here and learn completely for free. Now, if you want, you can go and join their Patreon for 20 bucks or less. You can pick your tier, and you'll get these tokens, which you can submit for critiques, and they'll critique your homework assignment, tell you what you're doing right and wrong, uh, hopefully help you grow in the best way. Or... You can just forget all that and be like, nah, nope, ain't doing that. Well, it's cool too. You, know, you can go to their forum. You can submit your homework assignments on the forum and do it completely for free if you want. The awesome folks over there will help you out the best they can. Uh, so it's pretty dope. You can do it completely for free if you want. So, link in the description or head to drawabox.com. I mean, and commercial over. No, not really, but. <laughs> Um, with that, gonna get going. We're, I'm currently on lesson three. I think, um, a little, we're a little ways in now. We've done three out of the four homework assignments. We're on the last homework assignment. Not really, but we are. The last homework assignment is eight plant drawings. Um, now, uh, we're currently tackling the, uh, the demos of, um, construction to plants. Um, we've done a daisy and a mushroom. Today, we're going to be taking on, uh, the hibiscus demo. Uh, there's no reading for today on this part of the website. There's only the video, which we're going to watch. Um, and then on the same one is a cactus demo. Uh, we might just do the hibiscus. We'll, we'll see how, how long it is. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, like, like always, I'm going to play the video. I, just the audio though, I am not going to play the actual video because I think it's a dick move to steal their videos. Um, I can't recommend enough going and checking out their, their videos, not just for this, but for all of them because it just helps a lot to see someone do what you're trying to do, you know what I mean? And you're not going to learn anything from just hearing the audio, you know what I mean? But with that, I'm going to get rolling. Um, and like I said, we don't have anything to read today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to watch the video and then draw along. Uh, with the with the video as they recommend to do so that's what we're gonna be doing yeah buddy all right that's it all right this one's 20 minutes long and turn up the volume I can barely hear him demos for seven different lessons uh, this time we're gonna be looking at a hibiscus. I actually had another, or have another demo for hibiscus, but I'm not particularly pleased with how I tackled that topic, I guess, almost a year and a half ago now. So I wanted to revisit it and maybe kind of take a more solid stance on certain constructional concepts that I was a little bit lax on before. 
So one thing to remember uh, when it comes to any of these studies is that I'm not at all focusing on perfectly reproducing this uh, this subject, or this photograph, rather. I, what I want to do is I want to draw something that looks, A, solid, so we're still focusing on learning how to use construction and how to kind of convey our forms in a way that looks solid and real. Um, we want to give it the sense of weight where it needs it and so on. Um, another thing that I want to do is I want to learn more about this, how this particular thing is put together, how the different forms come together and how I can piece those together myself. Lastly, I want to reproduce or at least capture what I do see as being the core of this plant, but that's really the third highest priority here. My biggest focus is learning to apply construction, uh, not reproducing the photograph 100% faithfully. Because frankly, I'm not even good at that, because that's not something that I've ever really focused on. Observation is very important, and being able to identify the different uh, elements that we see here is certainly important, but I don't want to put that ahead of construction because construction is the actual skill that I use every day when I'm drawing, putting forms together and piecing them together so that I can create uh, things from my imagination. So if you ask me to kind of draw a perfect uh, reproduction of a portrait photo of someone, I wouldn't be the person to go to, but if you wanted me to create an interesting interpretation of that photograph or use it as a reference to create a fresh new character, then I'd be your guy. And that's the kind of skills that we're trying to develop here, or that we're trying to practice here. So looking at this uh, hibiscus, the first thing that I see is that it's got this big, nice, uh, kind of flowing stem, or pistil, or I forget what the anatomy of a uh, flower is, but it's, it's very large and bold, and it comes out through here. So that's really going to establish a good deal of the flow in our image. And it's coming out from this base where we've got our uh, petals, or I guess they are technically petals in this case, not the leaves. Now, these petals come out to a specific, uh, particular extent, they kind of arc and come back. So I do want to establish the kind of ellipse that we have fitting around here so that I have something to work with when I'm constructing these petals. So I've got my extent here. Now this is one of the things that I was a little bit too lax on the last time that I did this sort of demonstration, was that I was perfectly okay with kind of going beyond this ellipse and constructing my moves separate from, kind of ignoring it really. And that's not really what we should be doing when we're applying construction. Once we've established this, uh, the bounds of our petals, we need to respect it. We cannot just undermine it and ignore it as though we had not drawn it if it, didn't, if it doesn't suit us anymore. If we do that, then we start to lose the sense of solidity and kind of the, uh, the integrity of our construction. So what we're going to do here is we are going to, even if it does not match our reference image, we are going to adhere to the, to the scaffolding that we've set down. All right, this is eating at me. I, oh, I didn't even put up the photos for this one. Oh, fuck, I'll find mine then, bro. I'll find my photos then, bro. Oh, there's the one he used. Yep, there's the same photo, okay. Right. What, what is this thing is underneath? That's what I'm curious about. What's underneath those big ass petals? What you got under that skirt, girl? All right, that got weird. Uh, okay, so it's just a branch. Uh, I see you, bro. I see you, bro. 
Okay, so it's just... It's just... Well, it's like a little claw. Yeah, and the fire sits on top of it. The rose. Except these come way out, actually. Kind of gnarly. Yeah, they sell like on like a cylinder. And it's like slightly domed. So it's like that. And then it's got like these gnarly fang like looking things. But that's for like the the flower bud, whatever the fuck they're called. Like the, the 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 these dudes that aren't they didn't bloom yet. They're like all curled up in themselves. And then you got like that, and then you got a tiny. I'll use the weird bulk method. I got... And then you'd have another one. And you got these weird hook things. And you got... I'd probably shape it like that, like a bulb. And then... like this the butt and then it, it does this like that it's like something like that sure how you would draw this though. So it's like that. Uh, no. Actually, you know what? I'll do this instead. Remember it yesterday. I'll make it like that to give it a ball. Like a bowl shape down here. And then up here... It's shaped like that, so I guess I would just put it up here and we've really got a, a, that shape on our... See, that's what I would do. I'd do like that. And then down here, like that. And that, and then up, like that. And then on here, do like that, and put that underneath. Like that. that. Well, this top I'm not sure of because they're they're like this. And then this is our ellipses in here to create this shape. And that shape, I guess I would just Maybe 
put a leaf on top? Like that maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how you'd make up this top half, honestly. Um, but yeah, anyway, right, that's what I was curious about. What was underneath? Was eating at me. So I want my leaves to flow something like this. Or petals, I guess. The petals, bro! I'll be hating on the petals. You petal hating motherfucker? <laughs> oh, you Keep in mind that just because we see this leaf kind of ending off here, it does continue on even though we don't see it, so we do frequently want to think about what we don't see and what is not necessarily obvious to us all the time. We do kind of have to think about more than just what... Yeah, but you got that other one wrong too then. Because that other one's cut off as well, as much as the other one. What's hard about this? Is these are shaped like, like they're big ass petals, but it's almost like they're individual leaves, right? And then like, cause this side is like, it's folding in on itself, like down here, whereas this side's like up in the air like this. So it goes like that, and then this is all roughly over here, right? You see what I mean? It's almost like they're they're individuals. It's like I mean I know that's part of detail, but The bulk, of, I guess I'd go with what the bulk of the petals doing. So it's like that. process the image and come to some, you know, educated, I don't want to say guesses, but that is essentially what they are if you can't see the rest of it. Sometimes, like, if you're looking at an animal and you can't quite see how, say, a leg connects to the torso from a particular angle, you can always go and find other pictures of that animal to get a better sense of it. In this case, this particular flower, um, we're not going to be able to find other angles of this individual. We can find other angles of this uh, type of flower, but not other angles of this particular shot. So we do have to apply our minds a little bit, kind of guess it a little. So now that we've got the flow of these leaf, uh, these petals, we want to enclose those shapes. So here it's a lot less pointy, like you know how my usual leaf exercises kind of come out like this. A lot of leaves are like that, but here in this case, this flower is much more rounded, but we still do have a sort of direction to it, which is how we got this flow. And we're still drawing through all of our forms. We are not stopping our shapes until they are completed, even if they're hidden by some other one. What? What the hell is that mean? In this particular case, this leaf does kind of stick out further from our initial lips. But I'm actually going to ignore that in favor of creating a more solid, believable construction. Because I've already pretty much kind of 
written certain parts in stone. I don't want to undermine that at risk of trying to be super accurate and instead it's like uh, winning the battle but losing the war, really. So in essence, this is what we've got. We've got this big tube flowing out from the center and some petals coming out. And the petals are quite broad. They've got like sort of, they bow out like this. So that's essentially what we've captured. Now I want to make sure that I can get the, uh, the snail antenna here for my snail. fucking snail. Whatever that thing is called. Oh, pink alien. Doing so like, stem, stem the down he's here. doing like a weird dance. He's playing some music. <laughs> oh, anyway. I believe it's part of the reproductive organs of this plant. Down Whatever that thing is called. Snail thing. Stem, stem down here. I believe it's part of the reproductive organs of this plant. I'm going to make sure I can rotate this so that I can get a better angle. Do my drawing here. The setup is actually not the best for this particular location, but let's try that out anyway. Oh, that's terrible. Sure, I'm flowing as much as I can from the previous line so it doesn't end up looking like chicken scratch. We've got all these little snail antennas. Palms here. Oh, that's his coat. That's the snail's coat right there. I like that bougie shit. There are two ways that you can have approach this particular problem where you can focus on the arms themselves and then add the little uh certain uh, the balls to the end of them or you can add the balls and then add the uh connect them back using these little arms or you can do a mixture of balls really one's on top or thick one Obviously here I'm not aiming to be super accurate, but I am keeping track of how the density changes, how it's quite sparse down here and then gradually becomes more dense. You can even lay in a sort of ellipse or a sort of ball to capture the uh, the general shape there that's being constructed by your uh, by these tiny forms. Probably would have been better to do that earlier on, but you know. If you, uh, when you're doing this thing, you definitely want to avoid having any floaters. Any what? If you, uh, when you're doing this thing, you definitely want to avoid having any floaters. Oh, floaters? Like things that are not connected to I thought he said flutters. I said, what the fuck is a flutter? Oh, 
And uh, let's go back to looking at this, uh, these leaves. I can see that there is some kind of these notches. So I do want to try and replicate that. So I'm going to focus on You know, I'm going to be honest. I, I would have much rather him did the whole plant flower. Um, like, I understand why he didn't, because you're not going to see it, because the leaves are so big on this image. But uh, it's not about that, right? It's about learning. And I, I just, I don't know. I would have preferred to see the whole thing. Like, how do you tackle something like that? And given, especially with this, because if you're drawing this thing, like, for real, um, and I don't mean realistically, but I mean, like, you know what I mean? You, in your scene of your fucking comic, on the table is a vase, and in the vase is a fucking hibiscus, right? I don't, I don't know, like, maybe they have to be in pot, whatever. Um, like, in the corner of the room is a hibiscus, or whatever, right? And you have a close-up scene of, like, your, your character, you know what I mean, sitting in his chair, right? And uh, there's a, a big close, you know I mean, that flowers, and you got to do it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's a very elaborate fucking thing, but whatever. Um, like, I don't like that mentality of, like, well, we can't see it, so, you know, we're not going to fucking worry about it. You know what I mean? It's like the equivalent of, like, oh, well, I can't draw hands, so I'm going to hide behind the body. Or... Hey, I can't draw feet, so I'm going to cut it off here. Do you know what I mean? And hide it so I don't have to fucking worry about it. I, I don't know. I, I just, I, I don't know. I, I just want to learn as much as I can. Do you know what I mean? And I think cutting that part out, like, I'm actually genuinely curious how you would tackle that. Like, to me, it looks like this flower, like, at least this one. I don't know if they're all like that. But, like, um, I mean, it seems like it's, like, one fluid, like, you know what I mean? I doubt it's like that, but that's how it, it, it seems to me. Like, you know? And then, like, up here... There's this guy, and then... Well, I went to... I went to... Uh... To, uh, Kirby. So like that. Oh, I should have spaced these out a little better like that, maybe. Because these are so big. Shot that one. Oh, uh, well, actually, I take that back. Yeah, I realize that now. You wouldn't see that guy there. And this guy's like this. That. Now we got one here. And that. Oh, I did it too low. Okay, so it's like that, and then we got that there. Okay. And then you got we know it's like that, but it's slighter than that. Like, there's a slight, slight thickness to it. So I'll put that in there like that to give it that little oomph. And then um, put that down there underneath that.
that um, what's from wrong? All right. Just because we can't see it doesn't mean we shouldn't do it. You know what I mean? Because that's more, that's more, more to learn. You know what I mean? Um, this is way too thick. Seem that tits too small to me. That's too soon fine. I've seen a lot too too small. Oh no, there's none in the center. doesn't look great. I need to think. Oops. Great. So that's a cell. This is very thin.
So it's like they come up and they curve around. shot the pad. That maybe get that curvature in there. Gives me some oomph there. Alright, first I'm gonna clean the brushing at the contour of this thing in this kettle. Because it'll help me place those. Wait, what? So, let's go back to looking at this stuff. Oh, he's putting the balls on. Yeah, okay. So, let's go back to looking at this stuff. These leaves. Pedals, bro! What is with you hating on the pedals? I can see that there is some kind of these notches. Yeah, that's what I'm about. So I do want to try and replicate that. But so I'm going to focus first on. Like really frilly, you know what I mean? Fleshing out the contour of this, thing, of this pedal. Because it'll help me place those. those frills. Uh, these folds. I don't know what to call them. Drills or folds, bro? Pick one. Pick one. I'll give you two options. Two. Two. <laughs> Slits, notches, divots. Um, no. Yeah. None of them was an option. Didn't you listen? You don't, you don't listen, do you? You don't listen, do you? I'll tell you, it's not lifts. It's pedals. You can still call fucking lifts. Uh, it's, it's not notches, bro. It's frills or folds. Folds. <laughs> the point is that once you got these contour lines in here, you can actually use them so that when you cut that little notch, you can follow along that flow of the surface without having to worry about where it's going to go. Because right. you've already drawn in that line and therefore you can follow it. That's, that's the essence of construction. You've solved a problem already and therefore don't have to worry about it anymore. You got 99 problems and a notch ain't one. I don't know why I have this habit of drawing arrows. It's kind of ruining my drawing, but I don't know. It's just when I'm doing these demos, I always, in my mind, think about, okay, this is flowing this way along the surface, so I want to really communicate that to my students. So also here, you can see there's a little bit of wavering to that leaf. It's not quite a smooth cut. There's a little bit of deviation there to it. So I want to build that on top of the uh, the leaf construction that we have. See, I can't, I can't see it. It, 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 it. One, the image is not that great. Two, it's small. Three, I'm looking at it through a fucking screen of a screen. 
So I can't see what he's talking about. Let me go pull the image that I found. Really, bro? Really? You picked the first fucking Google image, search image? Really? Well, you could have picked that pink one, bro. It was three lines down. And it has pink outlines of its petals. Not lips, petals, mind you. But no, I think that would have been harder to see, maybe. Oh, wait. Let me just download this fucking image so I can zoom in on it. Be done with all this ridiculousness. Okay. Now that I got the image. Thank you very much. I had to go look for it myself, bro. Alright, let's go on and see what the hell he said. And let me. It's not quite a smooth cut. There's a little bit of deviation there to it. So I want to build... There's deviation to it? What? I, I think because it doesn't go like this. But instead, it's like that. Maybe not even that drastic, but it's like a tiny. I think that's what he's talking about. I'm not really sure. It's only there, I figure. I think it's important to get that because I think that's synonymous with hibiscus is this right here. Big ass petals and they wrap around like that. Oh, I don't have any more scrap paper. I don't want to use a brand new sheet for that. Um, let's go like this. And then, uh, what the fuck was he talking about? Okay, so then we got the fall leaves like this, like it is. Well, he overshot his leaf, looks like. Yeah, he has a leaf starting back behind that stalk or a snail stem thing. Whatever. He has it coming up like this and then around. Done and done. Like that. And then let's say. like that so I'm gonna cross contours like that like that I'm trying to emphasize that dip I'm gonna put too many Try this one, like this, and then this is our leash, or our flow line, and then you got, it's not flat, like that, uh, and uh, Whatever the fuck. And then he's got... Mm 
looks like that. It connects onto that one. And then that to that. That next one to create that pedal. Except they're not that deep because they're only like little cuts. It cuts in. Like that. And then what's he talking about? Put that on top of the. Uh the leaf oh, okay so then back here with that deep whatever the fuck you call it variation um so in here he's building it on well going out yeah. structure that we already had and just add a little bit more variation there that doesn't sell that for me um let me just put a, a leaf line like that and then go like this. Like that. That's not right. I'm just seeing this leaf. I'm just gonna use a new piece of paper because this is driving me nuts. I don't have no fucking room. All right, let's try this. Let's try a small corner. And that's our tiny stalk. And then we got one that way. On that way, on that way, on that way, I'll go down a little further, number one, that way. Like that, okay. See, I can't, I'm, I'm having a hard time seeing this cross contour. I can see them this way, but not that way. So if this is the center of our leaf, this would go, it would curl up most likely like that, because that's the shape of that leaf, because it goes down and in. So it will go up the leaf and then out like that. That. Yeah, see that doesn't look right to me.
That's good, that's better. Also, this here. Probably not going to be rendering out this entire thing in this demo. I'm mainly focusing on covering concepts and how to apply some of the techniques. So, um, otherwise, it would be kind of an extraneous waste of time. But I do, the last thing I want to talk about is the use of line weight. I'm going to be adding a little bit just to kind of clarify what is in front of what, um, make the overlaps a little bit easier to understand. So you can see here how I'm just taking the existing lines and applying additional thickness to them. I'm not replacing them. I'm not by like, taking a line and then doing something entirely different with it. I'm just adding weight to what already exists. I'm not cleaning anything up. I'm just organizing it. You can also kind of extend off of them and build little shadow shapes. That you fill in with solid black. Never don't like try and do this sort of deal where you end up with little slivers of white unless you actually mean to kind of go towards a less dense gradient. But in this case, with the shadow shapes, if you're trying to fill in a shape, is basically what I'm saying, you should fill it in completely. Don't leave little slivers of white unless that is exactly what you intended to do. So these little shadow shapes, these cast shadows, can help distinguish this front pedal from the one behind it. And I can also use these shapes, even though there's no logical reason for there to be a shadow cast in the way that I'm kind of adding this weight. My main focus here is communicating that this big tube sits in front and it's quite dominant. So I really want to draw attention to it and make it stand out. And I can do that by just emphasizing its lines over its neighbors. So in essence, that's basically all we're really doing. We're just constructing simple forms and merging them together and then finding how the surfaces flow through space and then where appropriate we you know cut a little here and there following those contours or we add a, a few extra forms 
With smaller forms, you can be a little bit more relaxed, but I still, in, in terms of like actually drawing the each form comprehensively, but I still want you to be aware of how they all uh, sit in space and how they all connect to each other. Because if you're not, it will show through in your drawing. What? What? I want you to be aware of how they all uh, sit in space and how they all connect to each other. Because if you're not, it will show through in your drawing. Oh, that's right. We're doing that stem thing. Too, too big. Fucked that up. I was trying to make it. Time like that.
That's the best one. Yeah, those are, that's okay. It's flat. I am trying too hard to curve them too much. Too much.
So if we're gonna do it, we might as well fucking do it, right? Too big.
stick your fatter at the bottom. What the fuck? We should have stopped right there. Alright, you're on a fucker. Um. Yeah, we can't use that. It's all fucked up. It's all fucked up. <laughs> I'm 68, but I have no room. I have no room. It's my little river. I find a place to swim. Down the end of love. I pick what it is. Oh, shit. You know what I think I'm gonna do? Yeah, now the pressure's off. You choke, bro! I might do the fucking ellipse first and then put the thing in the center. That might be too big. I'm sorry, I'm gonna leave, but that's the best I'm gonna do right now because my nerves are in the way. As soon as I help myself like, relax and realize like I'm just drawing, do you know what I mean? I'm not doing this for like, you know, then I'll calm down and my lines um, won't be as wobbly because this is nerves. It's me putting unnecessary pressure on myself, thinking like this is a fucking test. 
even though I'm not even turning this in. I can't help it. It's just what my brain does. That's why I think I said in another video, I'll say it again. That's why I started using this to practice for everything. Because up until now, I've only used this for our draw box assignments, homeworks, because they're too expensive and they break so easily, especially with me. I'm heavy handed and I try so hard to be delicate. And what ends up happening, I think, I think what's happening is because I'm so afraid to break these, I'm holding my hand up off the page a little bit. Um, and when it goes down, it'll hit the thing. Not like that, but you know what I mean? Just you see what I'm talking or like do like that, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, this should be flipped. I uh, I started practicing with these all the time now, um, because since I've only used these for homework, now when I pick this pen up, the second I pick this up, this panic washes over me like I'm taking a test. Um, I'm not good at tests. You tell me the word test, I'll, I'll literally, like, uh, I've walked out of classrooms. My point is, um, so now when I pick that pen up, um, like I said, it, it has this heaviness to it now. It has this pressure to it. Like, I, I feel like I'm taking a test. Um, and it's something I'm working on, but can't help it even like now I think I'm taking a test and I panic and I get nervous and uh, I don't do it as well as I, I would if I was just drawing um so I started using these and practice and period to help take that away since I have to use it for the, the these courses um I want to take the power away from that you know what I mean so I've been using these all the time so if you're like me and you, you feel like you're taking a test every time you're doing one of these homework assignments um and you only use your pens for that um start using them to practice with as well so that way you get more comfortable with them some gaps here. Maybe I should make these even bigger. Mm -hmm. Am I not making these big enough? Try that. Um, I don't like how black that is in there. But I don't know what's anything to do about that because those are 
Yeah, that's what his is too. That's where all those, uh, that's where all the lines are. Um. Okay, that's wrong. I'm just trying to arc it up, but it didn't work out. That's not good, not at all. Not be too big.
I'm gonna start doing that. You know what, even though this is completely fucked, I'm gonna keep going because I'm hoping I can learn from this. So I'm so used to working with pencil. See, he uses this so much better of knowing where to put lines and not. I end up putting way too many because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. That looks terrible. That's too much. It's too much. I'm trying to make it look like this bit's over top of this bit. cut there and it's over top of that piece Too big, some of these. No, I might be too, but I know it's not. Son? No, not really. Shut up. What? That's better. Except for like the dark, dark ones. I didn't like me. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna do this too, because there's like some really thin ones there. So I'm just gonna put like a line. Look at me looking at the fucking reference like a grown up. Yeah, buddy. It's your boy. It's your boy. 
I like to put that cut in there. There's like a like here and here. So like maybe here. I do this. Will this take a chunk out? Or will it just be like a black fucking mark? It's a black mark. Well, fuck. Alright, to finish this one off, I'm gonna take the rest of these out because it'll fuck up the paper. And we're gonna go to the Sharpie because I think I'm fucking up this pen. I don't, I'm, I'm running out of them. And they're too expensive. I only got like one or two left, so I don't even know if Drawbox sells them anymore. Okay, where's my picture? Where's my picture, son? Alright, so it goes like this. Okay, so let's get the lips down. So it goes like that. And then like that. And then we got our stem going in there like that. Yeah. And then we got on here. Um like that. And then you got like that. And then you got like that. Actually, I think there's two in here. I think this should have been another leaf. Ah, fuck it. It's good enough. Alright, so let's look at that. I shouldn't have did that. I didn't want to do that. Alright, so from here... So I'd say it goes like that. Maybe not that steep though, actually. So maybe more like that. A little less rounded or flatter. That maybe. Mm. 
Да. Understand. It's not big enough. Trying to copy his, I uh, mean, trying to figure out what the fuck he did. It doesn't look right. This doesn't look right to me.
Nope. Can I get this? We fucked this up, we fucked this up. <sighs> All I can do is my best. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Me the man.
I put that up. Let's try that again. We're not too deep. Let's try that again. back at all does it no it's just like that and it's straight in so out there yeah it's about center I think No, I don't want to make it that small. You know what? I'm gonna leave that. It's cool. Whatever, man. That's fucked up. Alright, whatever. Oh, I can nitpick. No nitpicking. Okay. Alright, so we got. Let me go to my privy. One, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five. So, one, two, three, four, I'm trying really hard to make these big. Is that a problem with that? I'm telling. Fine.
I fucked that up. bad except for that one. That one is fucked. Alright. I also put it's pretty hard. I didn't mean to, so I hope I didn't break this stupid fucking thing. Alright. Um I'm gonna commit to this one. Um I'm not gonna write with this. I'll write with the Oh, we don't have a black pen here. can't use that because it'll bleed all over the fucking place. Now, here's the hardest part for me is these contour lines of this pedal. I'm not able to get it to look like him. Instead of like doing that, let's take it bit by bit, huh? Like that, like you did. And then we got... scratching in I'm like so nervous to fuck this up. I gotta get past that. Everything in me wants you just go <laughs> just to fuck it up. Just say, shut up, brain. This one comes up like that, and then, Uh, 
Uh, stop scratching it in, right? Oh, yeah, see, mine doesn't look like his. I don't know why. Oh, I know why. It's because I filled mine in. Like that. I fucked up. Yeah, I screwed up. That's not the only reason why, though. I think his curves are not as severe as mine. Alright. Even though I said I'm not going to reset, I'm going to reset. Because I want to see if that'll make a, 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 a difference. Let's try this again.
wasn't too thick there. It's better, but it goes from thin to thick to thin to thick. It's not, it, it, it you know what I mean? Bad, me dude, or not bad at all. You know what I mean? Oh, battery's gonna die, which means it's almost ten o'clock. Switch it over before it does it now.
I'm gonna leave it like that because I don't want to fuck it up. I think that's the best one I've done. Um. So then here, we're going to have Stop that right now before I fuck it up. Make the lines too thick like I always do. Like that. Fuck that up.
I'm not doing too, too bad here. It's, 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 uh, like, the lines are shitty. Just because, uh, of being used to working with pencil. You know what I mean? Being able to go, like, you know, where it says here, you have to think it and then commit. That part I don't have down yet is, like, committing fully to it. Which I'm working on, but yeah, I gotta do better. All right, here's our next look. We'll tackle this section because this is gonna cover that one. So we'll tackle here. I can't see much from this leaf. Um, so I'm gonna have to make this one up. Uh, uh, I think I'll go like. Like that. And then Fucked up here. I ran off the leaf. Um, I didn't realize this was empty here. And it's on to this next leaf. It ended here. So I, I put a big thing there. But, mm. And then. Frankly, I don't think it'll matter because. stand out right there. This part exposed. Like I'm gonna lay well, like this is gonna be on top of this. Uh, yeah, this is on top of this. This is on top of. Uh, this is on top of this. And then I think I'm gonna have these two sections here oh, uh, out, and then you won't see these. So I'll start here here, I think, with this guy.
Yeah, I fucked that up. That's alright, maybe I can cover it up with this guy. Okay, and then now we take over. So, as far as dominance goes, it should be like this. I'm gonna go in there with the Sharpie, I think, because I don't want to break that. Oh, I'm not supposed to be outlining the whole fucking thing. Can you see it? It's not too terrible, is it? I don't know. There we go, huh?
only thing I haven't added in here is shadow. Um, that's because I'm like dreading to fucking do that. Um, <clears throat> look at his. Like they're stacked on top, you know what I mean? leave it there. I think it's not half bad. Um, other than choppy lines, which I do want to write that in here.
And with that, I'm going to end it there. I think that one turned out okay. Um, we made some mistakes, obviously. Um, the Shadow, I'm unsure as fuck about that. Um, I'm not sure how to get the texture on here other than this. Um, his admittedly looks way better. Um, like, it, it just seems like it's missing something. It seems flat to me, like, not flat as in, like, it looks three-dimensional, but it looks flat as in, like, uh, there's no, it needs something to make it pop and bring it to life. Like, you know what I mean? Like, some, like a texture, it's missing something, and I don't know what. I'm going to ask that question. With that, I'm gonna go it there. With that, we made it this far. Well done. Good on you. I'm proud of you. You're doing great. And I actually mean that um, to myself and you. We're doing it. Yeah, buddy. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.